on the road again. We are looking, leading Haynes Junction and headed to Whiteboard. We'll see how far we can get this time. Uh, no spare. We have no spares left now. All four tires. So let's hope, pray, and, and uh, anything else across your fingers and legs. See if we can't make it all the way to White Horse now without anything else happening. We'll see, though. You never know. So we saw this bridge on our way outside of Haynes Junction, headed towards White Horse, maybe 10 miles outside of Haynes Junction. And it looked maybe it's probably a, a modern bridge built to look historic but it still looked cool so I thought we'd stop and check it out and walk the dogs. This is it's out of rest area about 10 miles east of uh, Haynes Junction. You can pause the, the video to read this if you want. See buffalo are up here also. Canyon Creek Bridge. Come here, this way. Canyon Creek Bridge, 1903. Okay, 1903 bridge. Well, or somewhere in there. And here it is. Oh. Oh, oh! It'll hold you, sweetheart. You can. Oh, this thing's solid. You can drive vehicles over it. Still. Except for maybe in the center. They were looking for gold. It's like gold country to me. Don't fall in, boy. <laughs> I couldn't save you. That rock is taller than you are. Almost as tall as I am. Pretty close.
学生。The next day. Okay, so we're here at Canadian Tire. We finished up this morning putting a new spare tire on the rim. Those guys did it for us. Yeah! And here we have the brand new spanking light truck tire that'll fit the RV. Uh, a tire's a tire when it's new. So we're good to go. Now we're gonna go over to a shop and see if uh, by any chance if uh, they can add a leaf spring or two to the leaf, rear leaf springs. I don't know if they can or not. I don't know how much it's going to cost, but it's well worth checking out while we're here since uh, I was told that these guys specialize in this. So we'll see how that, that goes. <laughs> Jazz are trying to take pictures out the side of the RV as we drive. So we tried to find that shop, couldn't find it. So we're just going to head back to the White Horse and keep on going south. Uh, next stop, our next destination is Watson Lake in Yukon Territory, which is about 350 miles away. Which means we're going to have to stop somewhere between then and here and there to get some gas. So, we're on our way. Alright, we made it to Tesla so far and Believe it or not, no problem so far. And we're at historic mile 804 of the Alcan Highway. And, and this is what it has to say about it. And you can't see it from here, but on the other side of those trees is a neat bridge we're going to go over in just a few minutes. Right now we're at the Nisutland Trading Post. So, onward. So Jasmine just saw her first live bear. Right, sweetheart? Yeah, baby one. Baby bear? side of Tesla we came across this and we had to I had to stop and check it out okay. yeah yeah this because we're probably because we're overloaded So it's in it says in memory of Max Richardson Corporal Company F 340th Engineers Army of the United States okay so he was part of the Army Corps that built the Alcan Highway that's what he, uh, that's who he was with. So, and they lost several, I remember reading about, they, the uh, army lost several of their soldiers in making, building the Alcan. And this was one of them, Corporal Richardson. From the United States, gave up his life to make it for, make the Alcan possible. And right down the road here, I hear a helicopter that just parked there for no reason when we went by, and it sounds like he's fixing to take off. Where he's going to go, I don't know, but he is definitely warming his engine up. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, he's hollering water, it looks like. Must have a forest fire somewhere. Yeah, I see the, the line hanging from the below there. I assume he's hauling water. That's what the mine is usually for. That or 
that or supplies or some type of load. That's what that mine is for, is to carry a load. Now he's just hovering, he's turning, turning partial south. Fighting a lot of wind, I know that you can see them down here. It's kind of mild, but you can get gust. Yeah, he said it in the wind. There it is. Yeah, he's he's hauling a load of some kind. Oh, yeah. oh, cool. And there he goes. Well, that was pretty neat, unexpected. While we were visiting Corporal Richardson's memorial, had an accident, big time. He went off the road. Lucky he did not turn it over. I passed by this thing three times. This is the third time I've been by this signpost forest. First time I didn't care about it. Second time I didn't want to, I knew that Jasmine would want to stop and, and go to it, so I didn't bother doing it then. I figured I'd take her when we got to it the third time, and this is the third time, so here we are at the signpost forest that everybody talks about. There's a convenient place to park right across the street as of 2020. When you see our RV park there, it's free. Nobody will bother you as of right now. Fourth of July. <laughs> Somebody Putting up fireworks for 4th of July in Canada, celebrating our country's birthday. Well, that's not bad. Look at this place. Look how many there are. And there are a lot. I heard that they're planning on moving it in the next year or two because they're running out of signs, running out of space or something. I'm not sure. But that's what I heard. Don't know if it's true or not. Got a, I don't know, 
what, I don't know if it's a doghouse or what, but it's got a Dalmatian uh, uh, plastic or plaster of Paris Dalmatian in it. And uh, it's got some old machinery that they've just been used up here for decades ago. And you see, it just keeps on going. I want to see this old excavator back here. This is the back side of it. Road grader, old road grader. Pull behind. Somebody's tennis shoes. <laughs> County, Georgia, been there. You want to know how far Texas is from here, sweetheart? 3,247 miles from here. Or roughly, thereabouts. Uh oh, post broke. Gig Harbor. Glory mm -hmm. Dental and Technical Art. <laughs> See, this is a destination point for a lot of people. They come to Canada just to come here to put their sign up. Their, their own handmade sign, their family sign, their business sign, their city sign, their state sign, whatever. Yeah? Via Mexico, some of you in Hudson Lake, Barriga's family, October 2018, they made it, see? All the way from Mexico. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of people have made it from even further away from other countries. Further away than that. Hang on. Okay, so I'm recording her, taking a picture of me, taking a picture recording her. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead in the center of it, see what the center is like. As I said, uh, we don't have any plans coming back, so as of now, this is the one and only chance we're going to get to see this. wooden bridge, foot bridge, and this is the center here. Look at that, Punjab, India, uh, or just India, I'm not sure if that's a name or not. Lewis in Idaho, been there, done that. Okay, so it's six o'clock. We checked the RV park in town. We really did want to get internet so that uh, we get caught up on everything. They have, all they have is the same thing White Horse has, which is basic internet. And he said, well, he had uh, satellite internet. And he says he wouldn't guarantee that uh, we would get the type of service we wanted. And they were gonna charge 46 bucks a night 
and we just didn't see any reason to stay in Watson Lake in that case for tonight. So we're going to head, keep heading south while it's daylight and then pull over someplace as it gets later on uh, during the night. It's only 6 o'clock, no reason to stop now.